What is up guys, welcome to Diving Garage. In today's quick video, I wanna talk about one potential reason your small block might be overheating and a potential free way to fix it. Let's dive in. All right, so this here is my 350 small block Chevy with a 671 roots blower. Uh, that part is not really important to this video, but what is, is right down there. You can see I got the water pump off, got it over here on the bench. And what I'm going to be doing is really correcting a mistake I made. And to illustrate a little bit better, I'm gonna be showing you on this engine, but I'll also be going and correcting the problem. So these here are the water pump mounting bolts. But you'll notice on this side, which is the passenger side, there are actually three holes. And these two are the mounting holes with the threads, but this hole is a water pump bypass. And what that does is when it's open, of course, it allows coolant to circulate when the thermostat is closed. And so what that does is it keeps engine temps down because you got more coolant flowing around, keeping the engine cool. Now, when you order a new water pump, what you'll get in the pack is probably some gaskets and you'll get this little metal, I would call it a dowel. It's, only, it's basically like a cylinder head dowel, it's kind of the same deal. Uh, and what that's for is if you're using a Vortex setup, but if you're using a regular Gen 1 style setup, you do not need that. So let's correct this issue. All right, this thing was a little tricky to get out. I tried a couple different magnets, trying to get a little screwdriver back behind there. But what ended up working in the end was drilling a small eighth inch hole and kind of wedging the drill bit and getting that thing pulled out. And that took some doing, and honestly, I wasn't sure I was gonna be able to get it out, but I did. Uh, I mentioned just drilled out. I think this is like an eighth drill bit. Got into the dowel. This, this I think this is like a hardened dowel. So it didn't take the self tapper, but the drill was able to get through it. And as you can see on the bottom, I didn't get through it. So we're good to go. Block is safe. All right, now back on this block, if you're curious on where that, uh, where this goes, you just get a zip tie here, put it into that third hole, let it come around. Boop, there it is. It comes from the water pump bypass up to the cylinder head. And then that kind of flows up and through the whole system. And then we just got a nice loop going here. And when you block that, you don't have that loop and the temperature in the head will get really hot and uh, the block itself might be in an okay temp but the head will seem that it's really hot and if you're running an efi system that'll screw up your whole map it'll screw up everything there is about it uh, with a carbureted system you may not even notice but yeah one more time this is where that uh, bypass goes right there it's not a through hole to the coolant jacket if you can kind of see this hole here is drilled at an angle so guys, if your small block is overheating, make sure you don't have that dowel pin in there. It's a little tricky to get out if it is in there. Uh, I had some luck with the drill, no luck with the uh, self tapper, but just take your time, you can get it out. I hope this video was helpful to you. As always, get out there, work hard, keep building, dive in your next project. Catch you next time.